I could help, yes. If I had a precise inventory of what was in that storage facility when well, I We don't made. have it. It all went up, everything. And the suspect who might have those answers got away, and John was the only one who saw his face. I'm so sorry that I can't offer you a less dangerous solution. What do you mean? Didn't I mention it? Whatever you think you said, you didn't say. The synaptic transfer system, shared dream state. What do you mean, shared dream state? Human brain generates a quantifiable electric field. I posited in 1976 that it is possible to synchronize the fields of two distinct minds to allow the sharing of information across the unconscious state. A mix of ketamine, neurontin, lysergic acid, diethylamide. That last one's LSD, by the way. Yes, it is. Take at least a few hours. I'd need your help to synthesize it if it's not too much. Yeah, problem. sure, no problem. That sounds like fun. Charlie, did you get me in to see William Bell? Massive dynamic isn't exactly being forthcoming or courteous. And apparently, William Bell is out of the country for the next two weeks. What's this? Typical. Oh, sweet little memo from their general counsel. No. Is it a cow? <laughs> Listen, Charlie, I, I need you to promise me you'll do whatever you can. Of course. <gasps> oh. oh, I got you. And this will rip open your consciousness. What? Wow. I was just thinking about you. Damn. You're dying. Remember what? Damn. What you saw. We got a runner in the back. We need him alive. I can't see his face. There he is. I saw him. I saw John get hurt. I was there. I was there. I saw. I saw. Him. Danielle, please assemble everything we have on Richard Steig for Agent Dunham here. I never get it right. <laughs> One day at the office, Dr. Bell noticed my discomfort and insisted I go for a CAT scan. Cancer. Spread so severely, I had to have my arm amputated that week. That first scanner that found my cancer was built by this company. Look at the arm. robotic assist tools that were used in my surgery, the drugs I took afterwards, were developed and manufactured by Massive Dynamic. But suffice to say that we've reached a point where science and technology have advanced at such an exponential rate for so long, it may be way beyond our ability to regulate and control them. Hey! Hey! What? He's running. Hey! He's in the alley! Can I get out of the car? Stay right there, Walter! Bloody hell! Oh. Nice. The woman who was just in here, that's her friend who's dying. So I just don't have that kind of time. Nope. Don't do it! <laughs> no! Stop! You can't! You can't do that! That's not true. All agents are required to set up a backup blood supply in case we're wounded. Metallic transfusion. transfusion. That's brilliant. brilliant. We can create the antidote and then just dissolve it and discuss stored blood. You've done some solid work here. <sighs> yeah, she has. Bishop, getting him out, finding a way to get him to work with you. We're impressed. Who's we? What happened on that plane might be part of something more dangerous than just simple terrorism. In the past nine months, there have been three dozen authenticated incidents like the Hamburg flight. Local fishermen off the coast of Sri Lanka reports a low-flying plane emitting a high-pitched frequency that blows out all their windows. An hour later, same spot, an 8.7 subsurface earthquake creates a tsunami that kills 83,000 people. A patient in Lisbon who woke up after years in a coma began writing just numbers. They turn out to be exact real-time coordinates of our carrier battle groups in the Pacific. 
intel that's classified above top secret. What the fuck? fuck? Come work for me, and I'll get you the clearance. Oh, stop. stop! There's more you need to hear. You must not have heard me. I said stop. They're calling these events the pattern, as if someone out there is experimenting, only the whole world is in lab. I have a job. This is a more important job. Anything, anybody you need, you can have. Oh. He's up. He's awake. Olivia! Olivia, he's awake! He's conscious. John? <sighs> he's done it. John. I've had a dream about you. <sighs> Damn you, smart. I gave you the names of all the synthetics I used in the compound. Don't worry. Our immunity agreement holds. I was threatened by a guy from your office. You think I'm lying? I swear to God, I can prove it. I recorded the conversation. Where's the recording? I buried it. Gotta be kidding me. It was him. She's involved with him. Shit. Oh, frog. Charlie, I need two agents posted outside Agent Scott's room now. Check on Steve. I'm on it. I'm five minutes away. Are you? This is Dunham. Bastard. ID five two seven seven six in pursuit of blue SUV heading south on Fenway. Need immediate assist. All the shit she went to to save this guy's life. Come on. Got you, you son of a bitch. can incinerate you from the inside out. Corporations have higher security clearances than we do. The truth is, we're obsolete. <clears throat> can I talk to you, please? Yeah, I'll be back in a second. No, I, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're anxious to get as far away from here as possible, to Iraq or Afghanistan or countless other out of reach places, but uh, I'm here to tell you that your father needs to stay, which means that you need to, too. After you left, my father sat down and started talking to me, and he was oh. remarkably lucid. And he told me about the work that he and William Bell had done, their experiments, and that incident, what happened on the plane, is just the beginning. How long has oh. been dead? Five hours. Question him. What?
Ooh. Told you she was bad news. That was an absolutely fantastic opening pilot episode. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That had pretty much everything I want from a TV series uh, when it's sci-fi. You've got great characters. You've got a great plot. You've got a, a fantastic, like, huge storyline to explore. <laughs> I so... I'll start with close to the end. That John, John Scott. I so didn't see that coming. Why didn't I see that? I did not expect that twist at all. Not when the entire premise around this opening episode was to try to save his life and get to the bottom of what that guy was doing with his experiments and why that happened on the plane. Um, anyway, going back right to the beginning, um, I was a little confused as to how the plane landed itself, but it, it was explained. Um, horrific, terrible deaths of everyone on the plane. And for their skin to turn like, you know, translucent and like, like I don't know. I mean, when he just took a little bit of a sample off John Scott, it just came off like butter. It was horrible. Walter is fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. A little unhinged, crazy, clearly. Um, but masterfully brilliant already you can see you know the minute he got out of there and obviously wasn't on the drugs that they were giving him in the uh, institution you could see his mind starting to wake up <laughs> but at the same time he's like seems to just go off on random ramblings the other guy um, oh what's his name Peter? Peter Peter Bishop. Well Bishop Peter Bishop. Um Peter is clearly brilliant, troubled, wanted. Uh obviously has never stuck around in one place too often. But it looks like they're gonna stick around, so I'm presuming this is probably gonna be a regular thing. This is probably gonna be like a, a them him and Walter helping her investigate cases Lance Riddick I don't know the guy's name in it yeah um he's brilliant I just I just love anything with him because the guy's a great actor as well Olivia he had a real issue with her to begin with there's obviously some history gone on there but he wants her to go and work for him in this fringe division which is obviously what the whole show's about Definitely need to know more. They're calling this thing the pattern, whatever that is. There's loads of different sorts of things going on that we're not aware of. The show as a whole is very, very reminiscent of like an updated version of the X Files, except instead of just having like one protagonist, like we've got, we've kind of got. A little bit more within that here we've got a female protagonist and we've got the scientist and his son uh, who probably i don't know i'm not going to say he's going to stick around for definite i don't know um but at the moment he's pretty much helping walter readjust to normal life i'm presuming after being in that institution place for so many years i can't remember how long it was now it was a long while I am very, very intrigued. This show looks really good. Soundtrack, fantastic. I don't know who's done the soundtrack. I'll look that up. Um, just little bits of the cinematography as well that they've done slightly different. Um, bearing in mind, this is like nearly 10 years old now. Well, just slightly older than 10 years old. Little bits of cinematography, like the camera angles and the use of, of the way they've just shot certain scenes. Like in the 
storage place when they shot from above and they shot with wide angle as well I, I like that i do pay attention to stuff like that not just listening and watching the episode i try to pay attention to the writing the directing the the visuals the audio i try to pay attention to it all if i can that was brilliant this obviously this was quite a long episode it was about an hour and a half so i'm going to split this down into two parts both for patron and obviously uh for a very condensed version on youtube so there can be two parts as well so i'll probably have to just split it down the middle and then cut that down we are going to be sticking with this i wasn't sure whether i was gonna stick with it i thought i'd, I'd try the first uh, episode it looks fabulous so i'm going to be doing two episodes a week minimum of this show probably alongside the 100 as well um i'll put my weekly schedule up on the video as well which should be probably in this corner here um so that you can see and i'll probably come up with which days i'm gonna upload them so that was the pilot episode of fringe i'll be back with the next episode probably in the next day or two I will try to keep to my upload schedule as much as I can, but I can't always guarantee the same time of day that it releases. So it will just be on that day. So guys, if you like this, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget you can watch the full version over on my Patreon first. Early access, you can head over to the Patreon link in the description and have a look at the tiers over there and it'll give you different options as to what you can see. Everything that appears on Patreon appears before it does on YouTube, even if it's 24 hours before. So uh, if you're watching this on Patreon, you're probably watching the full episode. If you're watching on YouTube, you're probably watching the cut down version. So I'll be back with the next episode very shortly. Till then, take care.